Are you getting ready for your first triathlon? A little bit nervous about the swim and not quite sure how to approach it? Well, these are my five tips for you. My first tip for you is to know exactly where you're going to start and when you're going to start. So most races these days are a rolling start to where you will line up with other people of your same ability. So at a 70.3 for example, if you're someone who can do a 35 minute swim, you're going to line up with a group that is 30 to 35 minutes and you may start at the back of that group. And so you'll line up, you'll go with people with your life ability and then you want to decide are you going to go with the group? and be able to draft off of them or you want to take your own line. You can swim wide and be able to swim at your own pace with no people around you or you can even swim at the inside line of the buoy which is closest to the kayak so if you are in a position where you panic you'll be able to grab onto a kayak very easily as long as you are turning around the turn buoys that is allowed. So know when you're going to start and know what line you're going to take. So tip number two and what I feel is honestly the most important tip is knowing exactly what effort and pace you're going to go out at. So if you're someone who is a competitive swimmer and you might want to go out with the fast swimmers and catch the draft, you need to practice going out hard for about two to three hundred meters and then being able to settle into your goal race pace. If you're someone that is nervous, you don't want to take it out too hard because it's going to wipe you out early in the swim, then I would highly recommend starting easy, getting your form under control, getting your breathing under control, and then once you've settled into the swim, then you can increase your pace to your goal race pace through the, the swim portion of the race. So tip number three is you need to have two form cues you can think about when you're starting the race. There are so many things to think about when you're swimming. If you start to think about five different things, you're going to get lost and the mechanics are going to break down. So if you can think of two key things that you've practiced in training that kind of keeps everything else together and you can lock in on that on race day and also keep you focused through the swim, that is what you want to do and will bring anxiety way down when you get started in the race. So tip number four is know the course. Before race day, make sure you look at the map. You can see where the turn buoys are. And then when you get down to race day, look at the surrounding areas around the course. Are there any landmarks that you can side off of if you can't see the buoys come race day? Um, make sure that uh, when you go out, are the buoys on your left or on your right so you know exactly how you're gonna approach siding as well. So tip number four, know the course. Tip number five is learn how to sight. This is obviously a necessary skill in open water swimming. And know that if you have a tendency to kind of swim skew a little bit, you need to sight more frequently. And so the recommendations I give our athletes is about every eight strokes, you should be sighting, you should be looking up, knowing where you're going. Ideally, you want to see the buoys. If not, you should have a landmark behind it that you're looking at. And if you can't even see that, just follow the caps in front of you. Uh, if you're someone that has a tendency to swim skew, you know, maybe you're pulling a little hard on your right hand side well you're gonna have to sight more frequently and what that typically looks like is you're gonna look up to see if you're on course and if you're not on course you're gonna have to course correct immediately sight right after and then make sure you're going the right direction so this is my sixth and final tip when you go out and you start the race if you're just new to swimming go out take it at your own pace but about two to three hundred yards in when you're fully under control when you sight, look and see if there are other swimmers around you. If there's someone going your same pace, instead of taking your own line, go and swim over to them and drive off of them. And that means you're either getting on their feet or you're getting on their hip. And by doing so, you're gonna save quite a bit of energy, about 30% of energy. Stay behind them. And if you feel like you are going too slow, go next to them, see if you can pass them. If you can't pass them, rather just go back. That just means you're, you were actually swimming at the, the best pace possible. So go back. Get back on their feet and save energy. What I don't want to see is that you're swimming stroke for stroke for someone just right next to you. If you can, you do want to save energy because you still have a bike and run ahead. So look for those people going at the same pace and then go behind and draft off of them all the way through to the end of the race. Thank you for watching. I hope those six tips will help you take the anxiety off for your next race and help you to gear up for your next triathlon competition. Stay tuned for more content as we help you achieve your racing goals.